What's up, YouTube? It's Ali Beans from I Freaking Love This, and today we're going to be doing a fine, fine USB mic review, as well as the proper OBS mic settings to get it sounding nice and sexy. Now, the specific model we're going to be reviewing is the K699B, which is the mic I use for all my streams as well as all these YouTube videos. So let's get right into the fine, fine USB mic review and the proper OBS mic settings. And here you can see the K699B USB condenser mic from Fifine. The condenser part in the name means it will be better at picking up lower sounds with more detail and clarity than, say, a dynamic mic that is better for louder sounds in a more rough environment. The Fifine USB mic is a perfect budget USB mic for streamers and YouTubers, costing just 35 bucks at the time of this video. The operation and setup is really as simple as it gets. There's just one connection to make, and that's the USB connection that handles both audio as well as power. Since it's a condenser mic, it's great for isolating your voice from ambient room sounds and provides crisp, clear audio. It does not have a mute button, but I use Touch Portal on my tablet to mute my mic anyway. I'll link a video above on how to use Touch Portal for advanced scene switching. Um, but if you do need a mute button, Fifine makes the K683A, which is also a USB condenser mic, but it has a mute button. It'll run you about 60 bucks, and for me, an extra $25 isn't worth it for just a mute button. The volume knob on this Fifine mic is located on the front of the mic, which is also the part you speak into. Speaking into the opposite end will not pick up your voice correctly. And this is perfect for me. I tend to be loud on my keyboards, and so it's not going to pick those up. It's not going to pick up my dogs barking in the background while I'm on stream or recording these videos. And I really like how it isolates my voice coming from just one specific direction. Even turning away in a quick cough isn't going to get picked up but to even better that not just the sound but also its ability to isolate noise let's get into the obs settings i use on this five fine usb mic to really get it sounding perfect for my use all right and before we jump into obs to actually look at the mic settings and filters we're going to be applying we need to download the reaper plugin BST FX suite and I'm gonna have this link down below but it's just reaper.fm slash rea plugs and the vast majority of you folks are gonna be on a 64-bit system I doubt many of you are running a 32-bit so you're just gonna to want to click on that that'll download the file for you and you just run the install process of that all right once you've got that installed let's move over into OBS all right, so here we are in OBS. I apologize for the infinity view, but I can't use my usual setup of using Camtasia to record OBS since Camtasia is not applying these filters and I wouldn't be able to do the back and forth with you. So what we have here is, you know, we just have OBS open. We have the mic control down here. All you want to do is click on settings and filters and here you can see all the filters that I'm using, right? The first three are default OBS filters. And then the second, uh, I'm sorry, the fourth and the fifth are the REA or REPA plugins. Let's actually compare what it sounds like with these off versus on. So here we can see without any of the filters on. And you'll notice it's a little bit more tingy. It's not as full. It just doesn't sound nearly as professional. And now let's turn them back on. And you can see here, it's much fuller. It's capturing the bass and the highs a lot better, but it's not going out of those extreme range of frequencies. And so let's go through what these actually do and why we have them set up. So for noise gate, to get this here, all I did is hit the plus symbol and click on noise gate here and that makes this appear. I believe these are the default settings. I use negative 30 and negative 26 with an attack of 25, a hold time of 200 and a release time of 150. And what this does, it actually makes it so you can't hear a lot of the background noises like my dogs barking, like my keyboard clacking. And so this isn't more for quality, but this is more to isolate that sound and really take advantage of the fact that you're using a condenser mic even more. 
Then we have the gain. This is used to add some fullness to your voice and some volume to your voice. Again, you would just hit plus symbol here and gain, and that'll bring this option here for you. And I have it set to 15. Most of these options are going to work for you folks if you just copy the exact values I have, but you might want to do some tweaking depending on your setup. Then we have the limiter. Now what the limiter does, it, it doesn't allow me to go above or below um, a certain volume, right? It's always going to try to keep it nice and even so we don't have low sounding volume and then high sounding volume. The best comparison I can make is when you're watching, uh, you know, you're streaming a TV show and then the commercials get super loud. This makes it so that type of scenario isn't going to happen in your audio. Now, for the EQ as well as the compressor, we're using the Reaper ones. And to get these set up, you would use the plus symbol and add the VST plugins. And then you'll be able to see this option here, and you're going to pick the REA EQ standalone. And then you hit Open Plugin Interface to open the options for it. And this is my curve you have here, right? Right at 100 hertz, I'm starting to arc it up a little bit. And then at 291.3 hertz, I'm really bringing it up. And then it's starting to equal out at 1,000 hertz. And then I have it shave off near the end of those really high frequencies. I could actually move this over to a left a little bit more to be a little bit more efficient. But what this is going to do is boost the bass in your voice and take away some of those really high-pitched sounds that can make a condenser mic or USB mic sound tingy or tinny. I don't know. What's the phrase there? Then to add the REA compressor, you're going to do the same thing. I would hit down here, VST plugin. That will give me these options. I'm going to choose the REA comp standalone. And then you open this up here. Now, there's a lot of options here, right? You don't need to look at all of them, right? The main thing here is the threshold. I set it to negative 15. A lot of people like negative 20 there as well. Attack, I set to 2 milliseconds. A lot of people set that to 3 uh, or 4 even, but I, I prefer 2. And attack is how quickly it'll engage the compressor. And then the release is 100 milliseconds. Then now your ratio is what I'm going to set to a 4-1 ratio. Some people do recommend setting this to a 3-1, but I found 4-1 works best for me. The rest of these options, I really don't mess with. So it's just you've got negative 15 here, 2 here, 100 here, and 4 to 1 here. And these are other ones that I've tried, and I've come down to that these actually give me the best, fullest most clear sound with this Fifine USB condenser mic. And I can enable these if I want or disable the other ones. Let's hear what it sounds like with these disabled again. And you can hear that's just night and day difference compared to when we have them enabled. And so let's enable them again. And there we go. Now we're sounding nice and sexy. And there you have it. The K699B USB condenser mic from Fifine is a great budget microphone, but it really comes down to using the proper plugins and equalizers and settings to really hone in everything that the mic can do. Now, of course, if you found this video helpful, a like really does help the channel. Maybe even hit that subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I put out new content. It's all free and it does help support the channel. Another way you can support the channel is if you're thinking about picking up any of the products I mentioned in this video, you can use the links down below. I will earn a small commission, but as always, I only recommend things that I personally would use and have used. Um, if you have any questions, about the videos I do, specifically with my mic or any of the other videos, I stream on Twitch three nights a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, but that schedule might change, so the best thing to do is just give me a follow, I'll throw that link in the description below for you, and you can be notified when I go live. I'm Ollie Beans from My Freaking Love This, I'll see you in the next video, be good to each other.